Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it so very much. So I realized that this video was really long so I made a lot of cuts because I rambled a bit and I also decided to cut this into two parts. So this is part two, my traditional lipsticks. You can watch part one, which was liquid lipsticks. I will put a link in the description box. Okay. Well, I would like to do this in some semblance of an order. It's not probably not going to happen because these are all of the traditional lipsticks. First one I have is a lippy lingerie by Tarte. This is the shade Enticing. I really like the Tarte lippy lingeries. They feel really nice on the skin. I don't wear these every day though because they do have mint in them. Not a lot, but I am allergic to peppermint. So if I wear them every day, it becomes a problem, but that's what it looks like. This was part of a holiday set that they did. So I have like five of them in different shades. This is the shade Desire. And I really liked the packaging on these, the beautiful um, gold with like the Moroccan kind of influence. That's what it looks like. It's a little brighter of a shade. They're really nice. Then we have from Visante, this is a matte crush. That's all it says, matte crush. Lipstick pencil, berry first kiss. So sweet. It would have been perfect for strawberry shortcake if you were old enough to know all of her very specialness there is it is it's a really pretty color we're gonna grab out one from lancome this is the shade wine party it's not as smooth as those matte ones this is more of a cream formula i bet it says it's a cream yep it is i'm not sure if i like cream lipstick formulas or not i kind of feel like i'm more gravitating towards matte formulas all over like across if it's liquid or traditional this clinique has seen better days that's for sure this is the shade vintage wine and i got this for a dance performance because we all had to wear the same lipstick and i was like i don't want to share a lipstick so i did buy it this was probably the first like non drugstore makeup that i ever purchased that is what it looks like it is really pretty and it's, it's really good for a performance because you're all like l lips are uniform. I w it was a very, it was a ballet that you really did need to be uniform in as well. So it was lace beads. All right, Estee Lauder, what shade are we? Insolent Plum. I love the names on some of these Estee Lauder lipsticks. They're just, they're so funny. Insolent Plum and I have Tempestuous too. That is what it looks like. Not necessarily my favorite color, not one that I would probably reach for on a daily basis, but still a nice enough shade. Oh, here's a little teeny bite one. This is the shade Thistle. This is another one that I wasn't quite sure where to put it. I think I found the right place though, because it is very gray toned. That's probably another one that might be on the chopping block. Marc Jacobs, this is their Kiss Pop. I don't really, I don't know, their darling packaging. I like the packaging. This is the shade Headliner. The one thing, I feel like their packaging, they rattle around in there, so you like open them so carefully because I can feel like movement within. This is a really nice color, actually. I don't know how this changes from the Lamarck formula, but I like both of them. Like I would buy any Marc Jacobs that I could find on sale. Totally would buy it. Next, we are Queens. This is their soft matte lipstick. This is another thing when I was talking about the lipsticks from NYX, I would buy more in this formula, but one, I don't really feel like the color, like I felt like this was more of a red than it actually shows up. It's definitely more of a bare. MAC, this is part of the Nutcracker collection. This is a shade Ruby. It is a patent polish, patent polish lip pencil. I am not a big fan of these because these are like a lip balm kind of consistency. So it's very sheer and shiny, which is not usually my go-to. I know I have another one of those somewhere in that box, but a shiny is not really my go-to with a lip product. 
Duche. This is the shade Winter Berry. It was a relentless matte lip crayon, which is kind of an interesting name. I do like the shade of this though. This is another one I need to try the formula and see how it works. Yeah. Kat Von D. This is super old. This is, I don't even know. I got this on clearance at Sephora years, years ago. It still smells fine. It still looks nice. It's really pretty actually. So I think these were like $8 when I got them and I thought that was such a good deal. That's what it is. You do have to build it up because it is more of a sheer formula, but it's slightly metallic and I do like a metallic. While I don't like shiny, I do like metallic. I'm a complicated woman, what can I say? Then we have some from NARS. This is the Doomy Baby Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I'm pretty sure this was part of the Man Ray collection because I did purchase several of the Man Ray pieces because they were so, such beautiful works of art. And it's kind of a way to have a little bit of Man Ray but without like actually paying for a Man Ray, which I can't, I could never afford. Then this is, it's like Tundra, but with an O, Tundra? Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, I have no idea. I don't know what that is. This is more of a brand. I couldn't stand the hair anymore. It was just driving me nuts. <laughs> we have a Smashbox. This is the shade Fig. Oh, that's such a pretty color. Like so many of these shades are not ones that I normally reach for. I don't do a lot of darker lip shades. I'm very much a neutral or a bright. Marc Jacobs Miss Scarlet. I do really like Marc Jacobs lip crumbs. They are kind of matte, but slightly shiny. They're not quite as creamy as other ones. This is not my favorite shade though. That's That might be one that I could let go which just hurts my heart a little bit because I love Marc Jacobs. <laughs> then we have NYX Matte, Velvet Matte Lipstick. There are so many formulas within NYX. I find it so confusing. Do you guys find it confusing like trying to figure out all of the different NYX lipsticks and what their formula is like and what the difference between the formulas is? Because like they have this matte and they have this matte and then they have their liquid mattes and their liquid lingerie or whatever. I find it confusing. <laughs> Beauty Corp. Crop, not Corp. PBJ Smoothie Stick. I had two of these and I got both of them, I think, in Birchbox. And unfortunately, the lighter shade went bad. This one is probably getting close to needing to be tossed as well. It, it still smells okay, but it's not smelling quite as good as it used to. I'm going to keep working on it. Try to get some more use out of it before I toss it. Magenta from Marc Jacobs. This is one that I picked up at TJ Maxx for like $8.99. Definitely going to do it. That is a really pretty color. I need to wear that one more too. See, just I'm discovering all the things that I should wear more often. Here is another Kat Von D. I didn't tell you what the other shade was. So I had FTW and this is Oh My Goth. And it is a darker shade. Definitely more leaning towards FTW instead of this one. Just a little bit more, I don't know, purpley. And I don't reach, wear a lot of purples unless I'm on film. Just as I pull out this guy, which is like a super purple. This is the Mac and Nico Panda collection. I love Mac lipsticks. They might, you probably could say that Mac mattes are my favorite lipstick formula of all time. This is a matte. This is tongue and cheek, as in chic. Um, that's what it looks like. And I, yet, I don't think I've ever worn it. I, I really should. Wet and Wild. I heard, I think Tati was talking about these. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get some. This is the shade Sugar Plum Fairy. I detest the packaging on these. The lipsticks are fine. They're nice. But the lipstick sticks out over the top. Like, this is retracted all of the way. And then it will go up. But it never sits down inside the tube so it's so easy to get lipstick on the inside and it's so hard to like pull them straight out and put them back in straight I have another one that's even more messy than that one somewhere 
Ugh, it drives me nuts. I hate it. Another Mac. This one I wear like all the time. This is Lucky and Love. I wish I got more, but these are their kind of really popular Chinese New Year set. And it sometimes is really hard to get some of them. And I felt really lucky that I actually got that one in the first place. Anyway, that is what it looks like right there. So next up is from NARS. It is the shade Endangered Red. I just swatched it right here. I thought I was recording and I wasn't a second ago. I know my best friend really likes this formula and she wore Cruella a lot, but I haven't really tried them. I, I need to get like a lighter color, I feel. Something that I would wear more every day than some of these ones. Then we have from Lorac. This is the shade Burgundy Wine. And these are kind of an interesting like format oh wow that doesn't look anything like the the color on the in the tube wow that's actually really really pretty i would be really interested in wearing that i, I should try that one and then we have one from nude sticks this is the shade raven it is an, an intense matte lip and cheek pencil Ooh, that one is is very dark as well. I do like that one. Let's do one more stick. We're gonna do this little one from Marc Jacobs. These are really cool. I really like them. This is Plum and Get It. I have another one, but the main problem I found with these is that they're so soft that they break inside the tube and then they fall out and I had an issue with one of them. And luckily it happened early enough that I could exchange it right away at Sephora. But I have a ridiculous amount of dark lipsticks is what I'm coming to find out. We have from Urban Decay, this is part of the Alice Through the Looking Glass collection. This is Morana, who is the white queen who has that dark vapey lip, very dark purple right there. I like it, but it's, it's, it's a little darker than I normally reach for. Then we have from MAC and Aladdin, this is the shade Raja, oh my gosh. I have worn this one quite a bit. This is, while it's dark, I don't know, it's a more approachable dark, so I wear it a lot more than I wear some of the other shades that are that I have been swatching in this video. Anastasia Beverly Hill, this is a little matte lipstick. It is the shade Plumeria, oh my gosh. This actually reminds me of that sugar plum that I swatched earlier in the video. It's a similar shade. It doesn't quite have that magenta-ness to it and that slight sh like metallic shift to it, but that one's really pretty. One from Lorac. This is the shade Daydreamer. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm like looking at these going, I never, what? This tells me that, well, you already know that I have too many lipsticks, like, but I pay for all of these, so why should I just, throw them away or toss them aside because there's pressures from outside forces to do so. This is the shade Current Mood by Marc Jacobs. It is a very vampy purple. Not quite as dark as Marana, but it is pretty dark. It's kind of pretty. I feel like switching out my lipstick right now. From Clinique, this is an older one too. This is the shade All Heart. I've worn this one quite a bit. I think this was a gift with purchase and it's one I didn't really know where to put. There's been a few of those that I guess I could have done lipsticks. I don't know how to categorize, but it's not a bright. It looks a little brighter right now. Let's see. Let me shift down there. That's a little bit more true to tone. Buxom. Oh my gosh, this Buxom, and it has the world's tiniest writing on it. This is the shade Havana. I mean, you pro you won't be able to see, but it's, it's super tiny. It's like the tiniest writing of any writing ever on a makeup product. It is pretty. I honestly probably should let all of my Buxoms go. I'm going to keep using them and kind of working through them and testing them out in my 30 for 30s, but I think those might be ones that I let go. Elizabeth Arden, this is the shade Raspberry. And actually, I don't think Elizabeth Arden gets enough credit 
for their products. They have some really amazing products and we would not have makeup counters the way that we do if it wasn't for Elizabeth Arden. That's really pretty actually. I could see me, like this was a color that I could wear on a more regular basis. I just need to like make myself do it. Another one from Clinique. This is a different grape. This one, yeah, it's, I have a lot that are like in this shade range. That's, they're just okay. They're nothing that like, I think, oh wow, I really like that. But I don't know anybody else that I, immediately around me that would be really excited about them either. Hmm. Butter lipstick from NYX. This is the shade Ripe Berry. Oh my gosh, that looks so similar to a different grape. Like, oh my gosh, they're so similar in shade. That, that, that kind of cracks me up. Uh, Sephora, what do we got? This one. Oh, these ones they always put on the inside, which is just crazy to me. M11. They have the most creative names of all time with Sephora. That's really pretty. This is a nice matte lip color. I do really like my matte lipsticks. But I don't want to get rid of all of everything else because I'm not always going to probably like that matte. Luxe lip color from Bobbi Brown. This came in a big set from Sephora. This is the shade Brocade. This just feels so luxe, this packaging. It has so much weight to it, that goldness around it. Mm, so nice. That's what the shade looks like. It is really pretty and I have worn it quite a few times. But, you know, when you have this many lipsticks, you don't wear them all. What do we got here? We got something from Pura. This is a velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Focal Point. And this probably came in a set from Pura. I'm not really sure. Anyway, there it is. It's, it's okay. I don't know. I feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm like, these are all just okay. I'm not really sure. And I still have more to show you. All right, this is a new one I have not tried out. I had bought it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty looked at it and went nope and returned it didn't even touch it so they could resell it but then mac did a set of three lipsticks for macy's and this was one of the shades so i did end up with it and the other two were ones that i really wanted so i i went ahead and got this one too this is the shade diva it was 22.50 for three full-size mac lipsticks which is a really good price because they're about 18 dollars a piece that's what it looks like. I don't know. I haven't used it. It's, it looks super dark though. A little darker than I normally do. Then we have Starburst by Mary Kay. I love this shade. I wear this all the time in another life. It's getting kind of grody actually. I should put this in my sentimental. I have some sentimental ones like things that my aunt um, had and that I got when she passed away. And I think I'm going to put this one in that with that because it's just not swatching very good anymore, which makes me kind of sad because it was like my everything lipstick at one point. And I didn't wear lipstick like all the time like I do now. Mm, hard candy. I was going to say it's MAC and I'm like, it is not MAC. This is the shade Ruby Slippers. I got this on clearance at Walmart, like in the middle of Nebraska when I was doing a road trip. I was like, I'm going to check out the makeup and I bought it and it's actually really pretty. And it's a nice shade. It's not quite as intimidating as that diva shade, but it's kind of nice. All right, next up is this. Now you can see what I mean with that Wet n Wild case. They're just so dang messy and I don't, like I try to be super careful with them, but it's, I just, I have the hardest time with them. This is the shade, oh wow, um, sorry. <laughs> This is the shade Wine Room. This actually reminds me a lot of Lucky in Love by MAC, which I just talked about a little bit ago. I need to use this one. I need to like wear it out so that it goes down and it's below then, and then I won't have an issue with it anymore. Too Faced Peach. This is Drunk Dial. This is like the crazy purple color. I don't know why I was like, I want the purple. 
why I mean I bought them when they were half price so at least I did not pay full price for them but I also didn't pay like two dollars like the one that's right next to it that wet and wild one it's very pretty I feel like I actually wish I was wearing it right now we might switch out my lipstick after I finish filming this video to luck this is another one of their lunar new years from mac i wanted to get all of these and i got like most of them i didn't get all of them it's so pretty it rhyme it's it's in that similar tone as lucky and love and that wine room by wet and wild besame snow white collection this is the shade one bite I love Besame lipsticks. I haven't talked about them very much in this video, but they are beautiful. They're really thick and matte, and I know some people find them drying. I don't have that problem, but I also do moisturize before I put on. I put an oil on as I'm doing all of my skincare, so that's not an issue. I should probably show you the shade, huh? That's it right there. I really like them. I don't wear them every day though because I am allergic to beeswax and it is one of the lower ingredients on the list. So if I wore them continuously, I would have an issue with that. But it's not enough that if I wear them occasionally, it, it doesn't bother me. Then we have 1969 from Besame. This is a really pretty shade. This is probably my favorite of all my Besame shades. It's like this really dark pink shade See, does it show up? There you go. I really like it. I, I got like the little collection of them from different years. Buxom, this is another one that I probably should let it go, but I don't know, sentimental reasons at this point. It's actually swatched really nice and looks really pretty. It's, it's a little dark, but not, it probably is a more wearable color than some of the other ones I'm looking at. MAC, this is the shade Rebel. This, oh, this is the purple shade. Yeah, this is actually not too bad. It's not as dark as that drunk dial that's up above, but hmm, maybe I will try some of my lipsticks a little bit more. Burberry, I have, I bought this little set of Burberry and I've been using them so sparingly. This is the shade Oxblood. Oh, this one is so pretty. It is a very dark lip. I do like the Burberry formula. Do I think it's worth the money? N no, because they're, they're, they're really expensive. And then I have this other one. This is the shade Damson. Thought it was damson and this is a more plummy shade those are actually really similar in nature a little bit more pink on that damson a little bit more red and brown on the other one i got two more left so i'm going to try to find room on my hand this is from kat von d this is the shade mother this is the um lipstick form instead of the liquid lipstick form. It's a little different in shade than the liquid lipstick, but not too different. And then my final one is Diva. Oh, I have two Divas. Well, I'm going to pass along the big one then because I like the little one that's, uh, I can't believe I have two of it. And you know what? I found one more in my little bag because it's one of those itty bitty besames. This is the shade 1930. It's very, very dark. It's almost like a brownie black shade. Those are all of my dark and berry shaded lipsticks. That's a lot. I know I had 31, I think, on the liquid lipsticks and I have no idea how many on the solid lipsticks. I might try to make note of it. I need to now inventory them and make a color chart. I made a color chart for my reds. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, what was your favorite shade? Do you have any of them? I would love to know. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.